Well, she's uh, she's all warmed up. Um, she's producing, uh, in my opinion, exceptional gas. I, I can't tell you what color it is. Um, I know it can't be any worse than it was last night, and that had some uh, orange and purple uh, tips to it, probably six inches long. Like I said, I had trouble with some filters and stuff and some draft. So, in my opinion, it could only be better than that now. I uh, put some new filter, uh, or I uh, cleaned out some filters and, and redid them and whatnot. Uh, the wind is kind of really screwing her around here. Uh, it's so hard to tell because uh, you don't know what's flame and what's heat wave. Um, last night we had about 18 inches worth of uh, flare, I'd say. So uh, I would assume that's what we got here again. Um, the uh, the filters are doing their thing there. Look how much we got in that one already. That's how much water it's taking out just by cooling the gas even more. And that may be, might be due to the temperature out here that it's taking even more out. But you know you're cool enough uh, when you're only about uh, four feet from the uh, from the reactor worth of pipe and you can put ABS on, ABS pipe, so uh, it's hardly warm. It's about sitting at about 17 degrees right now. Mind you, like I say, it is cool out here. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna let her run here. I'm not sure how much fuel we've used. Yeah, she's going down. She's gone down about at least an inch or so there. Watch my uh, eyebrows here. That flare's gonna get me. It's at perfect, uh, level here with the wind it blows it straight across um, and I don't know if you'll be able to see but this here's this here is also dripping too pretty good so um, it's uh, my, my concern I guess is my gas port does not get run through the blower and the blower extracts more and I like that I like that um, now should I plummet maybe so that uh, the blower's running while or running with the tractor that would almost inject the fuel into the tractor which could produce some pretty dramatic results um, this is more of a take it as you need it system and if the tractor pulls air through the gasifier it'll take the gas but uh, if you start forcing it in there that could create some pretty pretty big issue so I still am not 100% sure what the quality of the gas will be at the gas port uh, you can see I forgot to switch that back I still got my pressure gauge adapter on there so I'm not going to be able to try and hook her up to an engine with this run because um, I'm not going to let air into the system there so I will have to let her cool down here and once she cools down I'm going to uh, bring her back in here and we'll uh, we'll pull those jars off and we'll have a, just a general overview of uh, what to expect um, the cooling down process I take pretty seriously I don't want to bring this thing back into my shop when it's still producing any type of gas that could be harmful so generally what I do is I set the timer on there for an hour or two when she starts flaring up in the reactor there running out of wood and uh, I let her cool down real good, get some good fresh oxygen in her. Don't want to leave her out too long or everything freezes on it. And uh, once I'm convinced that it's safe, I'll crack open some filter bodies uh, so I know I don't have any pools of gas anywhere. And because uh, I am a smoker. And uh, I've, uh, how do you put that? Uh, don't want any mishaps in the shop, if you will. So uh, I see some guys running right in their shop, uh, not for me. <laughs> so anyway, we'll uh, we'll catch you later here after she's cooled down, uh, unless something miraculous happens here, and I'll throw up another vid. All right.